Hey, he go hey. <laughs> I call it to. I think her name is pronounced Ta, Taja. Taja for just day. A new YouTube girly that I've been watching <laughs> recently. Well, hi. Let me arrange my color so that I look like a human being a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video, I don't know what I want from it. I just want to tell you guys stuff and do stuff as well. Um, so today i fell down on the main road you know i handled it i think i handled it pretty nicely i just like stood up and you know i mean i didn't fall face flat you know my handbag served as a cushion plus my hands and they didn't even scrape so the fall was not particularly bad it was just very shocking plus like it was as a result of an ankle twist my bones are just messing with me a lot and i'm not gonna give them the attention they want honestly no <laughs> right um but yeah my ankle like just out of nowhere you guys twisted now it's not like i made a misstep or something this point i don't even know but it was just embarrassing and like i keep on having flashbacks and like people around were nice they were all like sorry sorry because i remember one time my uncle twisted when i was on the road i didn't fall but like i lost my footing a bit and this man like this um taxi conductor was they were like really insulting me like i'm sorry i almost fell down and they're like i feel like oh no they look where they go this one that one that one and i'm just like if you have nothing good to say then i don't know like don't say anything <laughs> is that too much to ask but like this one everybody was so nice you know you had people trying to rush to help me even though i was like already up immediately happened because like i said it wasn't that bad of a fall it was just a very embarrassing thing to happen so mm. but anywho your girl is about to give in to peer pressure i'm about to give in to peer pressure see i have been resisting with all my hearts everything about this drama <laughs> right um somehow coincidentally i have been you know aware of this drama it's a chinese drama right <laughs> so, I've, I, and you guys probably already know what i'm talking about it's like the most in chinese drama right now like everybody's watching it k drama gellies everybody j drama gellies thai drama gellies bundi bl gellies everybody's watching hidden love and like somehow coincidentally i have been aware of this drama you know like before it aired like i think the week leading up to its airing and i was just like saying he didn't love 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 he didn't love, he didn't love, he didn't love. And i was like oh this looks cute might as well watch it but then it just came and blew and blew up and fear in my heart i just stepped back <laughs> for real i don't know why this thing always happens to me that when something becomes um very 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 like popular i don't know i i always complain that oh i wish i can um you know um be part of the uh, community as it's airing and stuff but at the same time there is just this fear <laughs> like actual fear to like be involved in things that are just like you know going viral and stuff like i i rather you know find it later <laughs> not so late anyways after it is viral then in the era of that you know um virality viralness whatever you call it like i just get so scared and so it just like blew up out of nowhere you guys i tell you this out of nowhere the impact this drama has it is insane i <laughs> i'm feeling this impact so much i never expected it and so i was just like pulled back but 
like I'm saying, it's viral. So I've been seeing reels upon reels upon reels, and they're cute. Like the main girl is so cute. I'm a sucker for cute girls at this point. I like cute girls. Cute girls are so cute. <laughs> Honestly, right? Um, people that girls that look good doing cute things like puffing out their cheeks and just like being cute and speaking like tiny squeaky voices i don't know i have a soft spot for them as like i want to squish your cheeks and like that's even the reason i'm going to watch this drama like some of the things he's been doing for her but <laughs> the things he's been doing for her like yes they are sweet it mainly just comes from him being hyper aware of her and not seeing her because all the rest I've seen he notices the little details and, and that's cute but like why I'm going to watch this drama is because this girl is so cute and I need to like watch this her reactions are so cute and everything and I just need to I feel like I'm gonna be rolling around when I watch her being so cute so I think it's going to be so freaking cute right um but yeah finally I'm giving it up your pressure and I am going to watch Hidden Love this night. But I have a couple things to do first. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what this vlog holds. Will it be a reading vlog? I don't think so because I'm currently filming one that is grating on my nerves and driving me mad. But hopefully that one is about to end. And you guys will probably see that before you end up seeing this one so yeah i mean if this even amounts to anything because this is just like you know very random the most random blog i have ever started in the history of this channel i currently have 65 videos up that's a lot <laughs> right so the most random blog i have ever started like i didn't premeditate on it like i didn't have a thought that okay i might want to start a vlog today because i'm already in the middle of filming one i am about to, i am yet to like you know end off one like that one is already done i just need to come and say goodbye then i have like two videos that i'm filming for a new channel which hopefully should be up by now mentioned in hopefully a previous blog as well so you guys should check that out i probably you know put up the title of channel it's a faith-based channel where i share about my faith and what i'm learning and how i'm growing as a young christian basically so yeah um see you guys tomorrow Anywho, hi love. So I need to find and please place this right. mm -hmm. so so it's the next day and did I did I watch Hidden Love? I did it <laughs> you guys when i talk about this fear like i just feel like it's something that that can't be explained but it's just it just is because i was so excited for this you know i've even gone to next netflix i was just like yeah you know let's just do it let's you know muster of the courage and do it what i end up doing i ended up clicking out of netflix <laughs> To watch rewatch and that chinese drama i just feel like for me yeah it's more of comfort a comfort thing than anything i don't know because i just really went to rewatch another drama yesterday that i really like but then i just think the ending of that drama was so oh <laughs> but it was a happy ending so it excuses every like the happy ending was was fine because you know eh, with me i get annoyed when we have a couple you know they have good chemistry but like they don't define their relationship you know they don't do anything and then they go through this like long tribulation or something like that and then at the last episode the last scene you know they'll be together and it's be like oh it was a happy and i hate that because there was no happy ending i didn't get to see them fully in love for a long period of time but like with this one 
I just love them because that's why the risk like this is when I complain yeah I just feel like sometimes I start to feel very irrational in my mind and like I'm referring to the ranty rants video but like this drama so it's, it's Unchained Love that is the name of the drama is a historical Chinese drama and it basically follows this powerful eunuch and you guys know that eunuchs back then were always like emasculated and stuff I think I hope that's the correct um, castrated basically <laughs> and stuff and um, so this guy he's a fake you know but he's like he's he's a fake you know meaning that he wasn't castrated at all the story behind that is all in the story blah 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 but he's very powerful he's this very powerful you know like very 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 powerful like he has the ability to control palace games and all right and then there is this girl that this um guy has a question basically she's supposed to be the emperor's woman because the emperor likes her but originally she is the concubine of the emperor's father right so the emperor's father just passed away and you guys know how they used to do in the olden days. The old men, so they die, they'll be taking concubines. So she was the concubine of the father, but like the father never slept with her or anything. I don't think he was healthy enough to ever visit her in the palace. Um, and so he has a crush on her. Now he's the emperor, he wants to be with her basically. But there is like, you know, people will talk about it like, why are you marrying your sister in law? Do you understand why she's basically his sister in law? right um and so he hands her over to this you know to like buy time so people forget about it and like process it so that you know the news of her identity dies down right but the girl doesn't even like the guy she doesn't even know him basically and so the girl and the you know now start having feelings for each other and so it's like very scandalous because first of all not only is he a you know she doesn't know he's a fake you know she thinks he's a real you know and then um she's the king's woman basically and so it's like this forbidden love but i just like with this drama a lot how they admit their feelings and like yeah we see them in love for a long time happy as a couple before that ending came but then you know it was a happy ending nonetheless so like i really 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 love this drama because you can never go wrong with the right type of forbidden loves i'm not talking about the one where is your stepsister be your distant cousin forbidden love i hate i hate to read books like that even um teacher students those things especially when it's not like in a university setting those things ick me so bad like i can find no pleasure in them but all this to say i didn't go back to watch hidden love i just knew it <laughs> i just knew it you guys hi you guys so like this is one of the reasons i just absolutely love teaching children because they just do the purest cutest things most innocent things like <sighs> so basically we were having a lesson today and we needed extra paper like plain sheets and i did not have any up here and so you know i she went to get from her house and she was taking quite a while and i was like oh was taking quite a while it's just paper right um, and then she comes upstairs and she brings the paper and then she gives me this pen and she's like take i saw that your ink was about to finish so take this one and i'm just like oh oh my fragile heart <laughs> right because this is my pen I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is basically what my pen is currently looking like. The ink is empty. There's still a little something to write, but like the fact that she noticed that and then had the thought that she had an extra full ink pen in her house and decided, oh, let me bring this for her. I'm just like, get out of here, miss. Like, Stop, right? It was so cute. This almost looks like juicy.
you guys can we like talk about begin again oh my god <laughs> no i feel like i have to start talking about a different thing basically it's this show where people will come and sing in front of an audience mainly like um korean singers here yeah. and uh, is it open mic or begin again begin again open mic right let's talk about this background first of all like let's not even focus on the fact that ning ning is about to put her voice to one or should i say a song that i really love it's not one of my favorites but i really really love to listen to this song right so let's see let's see i just love this new background like i've not watched this in a while right so i love this new background it is great okay Dreams. I feel the whisper across the sea. You'll be coming home again. It is what's today? Monday. I was having a headache all day. I slept for almost three hours and woke up, still had a headache. Still having a headache, but I feel like it's getting better now that I stepped out of the room and like I'm drinking water, but things I don't just want to take painkillers. I'm not in the mood, right? Um, so yeah, let me tell you a story for today. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so bored because, like, yesterday I don't even know what happened. I'm not regretting it because I'm just realizing that I have a ton of time on my hands, like. See, I'm one of these people that is always like, nothing is inherently bad till you make it bad, <laughs> right? So I've never been someone to be like, oh, um, social media is this horrible thing that steals time and stuff. Like, I know that it gets addictive. I'm fully aware. I have my moments where I just like, I delete certain apps when I see I'm using them too much, right? But then if I like if I find that I'm on Twitter every other minute, I just like delete Twitter for a week, right? But then it's not like I just go off social media for <laughs> for a while. I just like somehow use Instagram to compensate. But obviously I won't be scrolling as much on Instagram like I was on Twitter, right? Um it's so it's sort of um, mini detox if you will say um so i've never been one that thinks that the social media is like this very toxic thing that must be destroyed that we should not use but like yesterday i don't even know what happened actually let me say this nothing happened <laughs> nothing nothing at all happened i was just like oh let's see how it goes and i deleted twitter i deleted instagram i deleted what's it called YouTube. I, I, I deleted YouTube. How am I finding it so far? I just think I'm pretty bored. But it's not bad. <laughs> like, I don't even have the urge to, the urge to, like, oh, I need to install these apps back. Like, once in a while, there's, because, you guys, I use my social media app to fangirl a lot. So, on Instagram, I fangirl about books <laughs> on Twitter. I fangirl about K pop, K dramas, and nowadays Chinese dramas, right? And on YouTube, it's like a mixture of everything, right? Um, and so, right now, what I just have once in a while, I just like have a twinge of curiosity here and there that is like, oh, what's going on? You know, what events did so and so go today oh outfit you know that's basically what fangirling is right um and or it's like oh what a uh, new book is being released today what book is hot at least today you know that type of thing and so it's just like a twinge of curiosity here and there but at the same time it's just border and i'm like my entertainment life cannot solely depend on social media like that's wrong hello that is absolutely wrong and so i am trying to like find something 
So, well, I don't need to find something to do. I'm learning two languages. Then I'm also like playing Scrabble online with different people. And so like those are things that fill my time. I could just listen to music and play Ludo because my Ludo, the Ludo app on my phone does not use um, internet like it's a long story it uses internet but you can't use internet to play with the computer right so you have to not have internet to play with the computer if you want to have internet you have to play online with somebody and i'm not all about that right i can do that with scrabble because i need to you know scrabble is different right scrabble is like imagine trying to fight ai to form words with tiles that's wrong or all sorts of wrong but with ludo is like a game of chance so let's see how we can beat ai at the game of chance right so it's two different things there's also monopoly where i start feeling like a wicked landlord <laughs> no you guys i don't know like monopoly just brings out the capitalist in all in us all right because if you don't become a capitalist you you lose <laughs> you lose the game right so it's for me anyways i don't know any other monopoly tactic than to buy all the property and make the rent 10 million times higher than it was like that's what i do once i get hold of you know um a, a color what's that thing called i'm using all my money to increase the rent so that when they get there they're paying me some cool cash that's, that's it <laughs> and it's fun and like i get how people do it in real life but like this is a game not real life so uh yeah so that's what's been going on my life pretty much has been boring i'll say oh even thing happens you know i'll bring you guys along blah 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 for so, yeah, we're nothing nothing is happening the days i'm not at work i'm home for lesson because i didn't quit my job this is a temporary job when she goes back to school i go back to work full time Right, and it's the days I'm here doing this lesson is the doctor for my salary, but I'm getting paid for this. So, <laughs> uh, that's really, really what's been going down. Yesterday, I took you guys to YouTube. I wanted to show you guys my new channel and ask you to subscribe. Um, I talked about it in a previous vlog. It was a channel I started so I could talk about my faith you know in depth and just have that platform separate for that instead of like mixing everything together here right um and so that will be in the description if you're interested because this is i just got carried away i got carried away guys <laughs> um i just started watching k-pop stuff and i got absolutely carried away but i just remembered it now but i i guess that's it for this vlog if you guys end up seeing this vlog that just goes to show how desperate i am because literally nothing happened here i just ended up telling you guys a bunch of stories that i mean did you ask for them no did i give them to you yes <laughs> right um and that's just because we're currently in august last week of august we're about to enter september and like through august i posted a video once every week right um and so in september i kind of like want to be doing one posting twice a week so what am i saying i want to be posting twice a week um but the vlog i'm supposed to have filmed three reading vlogs by now right but i started a vlog like three weeks ago this week makes it the third week right and it's supposed to be a challenge where I stop reading when I find a five star read at this rate you guys I'm going to give up on that vlog I'm just going to like call it a fail and put it up like that because I've read three books so far the first two dragged so much they dragged two weeks I ended up DNF in two of them the third one would be a DNF if I have not it's just like this third one is also very boring but it's not annoying and it's an, it, it's an easy read so I'm just like let's not dnf here especially because i've gotten to like 70 percent because like it's easy to skip through it so i was like oh we'll give this two stars but then yesterday it made me laugh a lot and i'll talk about that in that vlog i read a line from that book that i keep on thinking about it and it's really hilarious to me i'm just like what <laughs> like it's so funny to me and so like i will give that book three stars just because i have found something to think about and laugh to add you know i have a lot of things like that that 
I think about and just laugh days I'm feeling sad so that's one thing to be added to that list so this book you know can get a three star from me anytime for that um but like i'm not done with it because i don't want to pick it up because it's boring but like it's very easy to read so like characters are not super annoying it's just that a lot of their actions don't make sense you know it feels like a lot of things are forced and um yeah that's pretty much it but like nobody is like getting on my nerves badly so i can get through it right um so i don't know i've been feeling that book for true as well so i've been like two separate reading vlogs now but so that means if you guys are seeing this it just means i need something to put up for one of my posts and that is what this vlog is also if you're watching this i have a video on my phone like a vlog i tied it up you guys know that the room i'm staying in now is not the room i was staying in at the beginning of the year before i fell ill and so like i had to switch rooms because of ventilation the other room was too ventilated too cold too naturally cold because of the placement of the windows and and i had like pneumonia and all and like i brought stuff on myself because i was like sleeping under the ac come rain come sunshine for like three months straight so you know yes and i know that ac does not cause pneumonia but like you know it's facilitated by code before someone will come and start even though you guys never ever come into these videos but like before someone will come and start what is this what is this rubbish so this people thing cannot see light and just go away <laughs> right um and so like i had to move to the room that is naturally just hotter than the other room because of like so to recover and i just haven't moved back but anyways that room i was staying before i fell sick i did like a whole reorganization video because if you guys are watching this channel from last day I realized that the structure of things is different and so like i moved furniture around but it's just that i looked very messy in that vlog but then again i don't really care because it's like i was moving bookshelves and and tables in and out all by myself and if you know me that you will know that that is a lot because I don't do I don't carry heavy things, right? But it was very important for me to rearrange that room and just get rid of all the clutter because it wasn't originally mine. Um, I think I talked about that in that video. So I'm just like, if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments, and that will save me a lot of stress because then I would just have because I've had that that video since the beginning of this year, and somehow miraculously I have not deleted it. Right, because I do everything YouTube related on my phone and so I don't keep my videos. If I put up a video, I delete it. I delete all the footage. What I want to keep has been kept in the YouTube video. Thank you very much, right? So I delete everything. But like somehow, miraculously, I have not deleted any single clip from that rearrangement. This is, I think, January, February, we're talking. January, right? Um, and it's still there. And it's just like, do I delete this? Do I put this up? Do I delete this? Do I put this up? So if you think that's something you might want to see, if you think you particularly don't care how I look in my videos, I mean, it's not like I look so great in all this. I mean, look at me right now. Right? But like, if you don't particularly care, because I was a sweaty, just I was just a mess. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so let me know in the comments. I really wish you guys will finally, one day, start talking to me right in the comments that day oh, it'll be so great <laughs> but yeah uh see you guys in my next video